Hello there people of the internet and welcome back to another Hustle Castle video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to duplicate, make more, fill up your castle full of 5 star dwellers. Now this isn't that hard as you think, the only hardest bit of actually doing this is getting hold of your first 5 star dweller. Now how I did it was I bought him from the, the Dark Souls store. Now if you, now you may be thinking I'm rubbish at the portal, I'm never going to be able to get it. It's possible for anyone to buy anything from the Dark Souls store. All you've got to do is grind it out. Now, the best way to do this is you find the level that you're struggling with. You keep going down. So, let, for example, if I was struggling with 28, I'd go down to 25. If I struggled with 25, I'd go down to 20. I'd go down evenly, so let's say 25, 20, uh, 15... 10 at 5 and then 1 for example or you could do it anyway that's how I do it or you could go down level after level after level until you find that one you can do without any spells once you have found that one you can cannot you don't have to have used spells to do you can just click click done 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 until you run out of apples you get a couple more apples you wait a bit collect a few more apples go again go again eventually you're going to get enough dark souls now Obviously, you will need 267 Dark Souls to actually do it. But, and also, if you'd like to speed up a bit for yourself, you can also buy the Soul Stealers. Like, for times 2 and whatever you get, it's 280. And for times 3, it's 750. So that is up to you if you want to buy them. I didn't buy them. I managed to buy 3 this season. And they've all been 5 stars. But last season, I didn't have so much luck. I got the 4 star last season. And then the season before, I got the 3 and the 2. Which I think, I didn't record the 2, but I recorded the 3 and the 4. And obviously... I've lost a couple of people and they said they got the same pattern. They got 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5. Now, I think what happens is it goes 2, 3, 4, and then you got 5, 5, 5. It gives you like maybe 5, 10. It gives you a random amount of 5 star dwellers and then it puts you straight back to the beginning of the, the, the sequence. Oh, so that might be how it works. Do comment down below if it's worked differently for you. I would like to know if, if the first one you ever bought got you a 5 star dweller. I'd be interested in that, but obviously the people I've asked, on average, they've said that it's got the same type of pattern as me. But, then what you want to do is you want to get your 5 star guy, which is right here. You add, This is my first one, Liam, he's 5 stars. You want to shove him straight into the castle uh, living room right there. Then you want to go and choose a random dweller woman to breed with him, pretty much. So what I was doing was I was getting my highest uh, level women, which is 3 stars. I've got no one above 3 stars, it's a woman anyway. So I don't know why. Now I have, because actually I, I got a 5 star one right here. That was quite lucky. If you can get, but anyway, let's, I'll, I'll tell you that in a minute, I'll tell you that in a minute. But... Once you get them, you put them together, they'll breed. Now, what I've worked out from, I think I've done about six, eight babies so far. And I've had to get rid of a lot of them because they were two stars. But what I have learned is I think I've bred about four male ones. And three of them are five stars and one was four. Now, I think what happens is, is whatever sex the baby is, so it's a male, it has more chance of taking the male stars. So that's why I've got three five star uh, baby males and I've only got one four but the reason I think this is how it works because the same with the female I've been using three star females and every baby I've ever made I think I got three two star ones from the women and then I also got around about I got one two star one obviously I got rid of them they're pointless to me but that, that's why I think it works like that because you got three stars and you got five so I think they take they have more chance to take him whatever the male whatever they're pretty much whatever the, the, their mum or dad has so if it's a woman I'm not made no sense but let's say so if, if it's a girl baby it's going to take it off the mum if it's a male baby it's going to take it off the dad but there is a way you can get a hundred percent ratio of getting five star people what you need to do is just get lucky and get a five star woman like here so what then what you can do is you can make a baby every single day now, how you do that is every single day you can make one baby. Once you get, let's say, once you get a five-star baby gear, once she's grown up, because I've already got a couple of other uh, five-star males, I then can do two a day. And so on. So, so once you've got five women and you've got five men, you can make five babies a day right there. Now, that is actually pretty decent. Five babies a day, five-star people a day. That means it will take you quite a few days but eventually you're going to have a full on army of five people and obviously I was looking at the top people thinking how do they do this they must have spent hundreds and hundreds maybe even thousands on the game and then I learned this out I was like thank you so much for I do not want to try and pronounce your name uh, because I do not want to offend you I don't really want I don't know how to pronounce it but I do not want to offend you so I'll put your comment on screen right now thank you so so much for the idea of this I never even thought of it so thank you so much for doing it but anyway guys I really hope you found this video interesting and useful do comment down below the order you've got your dwellers from the uh, portal shop in also do not forget to follow me on Facebook Instagram and Twitter that I message you guys if I need help like for the stats I use then the, the, the um, what dwellers you got from this portal store I asked a couple of people on Facebook and Twitter also within game and they are told me that's the uh, that's like the that's the level that's the 
order they got them in. But also, this is my last video of 2017. The next video I make will be in 2018 in like two days time. So that's pretty cool. This has been an awesome year. 370 subs. This time next year I am aiming for 2,500. I hope that I can be sitting here in the same seat. Maybe I might have moved my desk somewhere else. But hopefully I can be sitting here in the same seat this time next year saying thank you so much for 2,500 subs this year. It's been an awesome year. But anyway, do not forget to smash that subscribe button in the face. And also turn on post notifications. I do load every other day. Also do not forget to comment down below what order you got your dwellers in. Also do come we get this video to 15 likes i've asked for 10 in the past two videos and you guys have smashed that target i'm opening it by a little bit for you guys you know for the last video of 2017 can we get that 15 awesome likes anyway guys i really hope you enjoy the rest of your whatever what's left of your 2017 i hope you enjoy your new year's day and i'll see you on the second and i'm signing off as the leaves start falling down and the shadows above the town i can finally see you now